My story starts in my teens. My sister and I always felt that our childhood house held a presence, and it wasn't a good one. In fact, my father shared with us a story that happened when we were children that validated the feelings we had about our house. He recounted a tale wherein he awoke in the middle of the night by something he described as negative and with an agenda. He said he felt that the negative energy was headed into the bedroom my sister and I shared. He went into our bedroom to protect us from the energy. That may have been the end of that story, but he started feeling that energy numerous times. This didn't surprise me. Our house had much negative energy, which paranormal energies feed off of. With our feelings and our fathers, we were even more convinced the house held an energy that wasn't friendly. Let's fast forward a couple of years. My sister, my mother, and I were home. My sister was coming down the hallway, which ended right in the middle of where our living room and kitchen branch off into their separate rooms. At this point in the house, one can see both into the living room and kitchen. As my sister started veering toward the kitchen, she asked my mother if my brother, a tall, lanky 20-something with long, scraggly hair, was home, to which my mother said no. This confused my sister who still swears to this day she saw our brother sitting in the living room right before she asked. He wasn't there when she went to verify her claim. Again, let's fast forward a few more years to when my nephew, my sister's son, turned three. He would make it a point to stand in front of our hallways and bite or yell at something down the hall. When asked what he was doing, he'd say he was playing, or in the case of yelling, he was arguing with Sean. The creepy thing is, no one around was named Sean. Though my sister and I had our concerns that this negative energy is the same one we felt when we were teens, we wrote it off as an imaginary friend of sorts. However, my nephew started to mention how Sean was now in their house, not in our family home. Sean would be in his bedroom, scaring him, to the point where he wouldn't sleep in his room without the lights on. He would often say Sean was mean, and he wouldn't play in his playroom because Sean was always there. In my mind, Sean had followed my nephew from our house to his because their house was riddled with negative energy from an unhealthy living environment. Again, what paranormal energies feed off of. I didn't mention this to my sister for fear of opening up a can of worms that weren't my business. Just another imaginary friend? We don't believe that anymore. One day, my nephew was in his house as my sister, her husband, and their friends came over and were talking outside. My nephew wanted to go outside too, but the moment he did, he started screaming for my sister to hold him and take him back into the house. No one knew what was wrong with him until he pointed to the tall, lanky, white, t-shirt clad, scraggly haired friend of her husband and called him Sean. I am now convinced the energy within my childhood home which clearly had a look to him, followed my nephew to his house due to it being a rich resource for negative energy from their family and the family that lived there before them. It was her husband's childhood home. Perhaps it followed us to our home all those years ago because of our own negative energy. I will never know. My nephew doesn't mention Sean anymore, but can tell you who he was and the strife he brought him. Perhaps Sean stayed in their old house because of its overabundance of negative energy. Perhaps Sean was just an imaginary friend. I will never know this either, but what I do know is that these instances are too similar to be anything but paranormal.